Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes, wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. I am here. Basim, the Mahal. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake, will join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest and why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. You took your time. Did you wait up, master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of Al-Mutabakil. 
What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father... The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Qabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. One will not attain everything he wishes, but the board has some things you very well might. Fulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Kabiha rose to become Al Mutawakil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafa. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad. say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. What do you see? They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch or the Khalifa himself. I am neither, so this could be interesting. Do not even think about it. Keep walking. That was friendly. I will have to find another way in. wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabiha is a great woman, Farah. 
She was. While Al Mutawakil lived, but her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira, and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. What see you, my friend? A eunuch's uniform freshly tailored. Perfect. How long is this going to be? Looks ready to me. Time to make use of this uniform. A bit tight across the chest. And gut. Hopefully this will work. Tamahel! Do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira! Assalamu alaikum! You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already! No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umuvalad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some, I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. 
It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. Eye paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. Eye paint and magic potion? Seriously? So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. to my disguise. No, focus, Basim. You need that key. Paint and potion acquired. Now to get that key. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. Be another way in. Quarters <laughs> fit for a Khalifa. The garden and its mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea.
Abu Abdullah's ambition knows no bounds. Oh, Farah, he cannot still believe he will take the throne. Have you met his mother? There you are. Enjoy. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it... it gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar. And perhaps in the harem. But on who? A map of the Khilafa and Alamut. A signed book of Harib's poems. The ocean, the desert, the cobra, and the dove. A hairpin. Nings. When did Qabiha get it? Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. Things look to... <gasps> what is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just a study of native herbs. Their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them, Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. 
Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the Order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands. Ridiculous. He completely misinterpreted the scripture. It was as clear a miscarriage of justice as I have ever seen. Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... Would you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts, not the Mathalim. He does keep spies here, one scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. That messenger could lead me to the governor's office, and whatever secrets he buries there. There. Now focus, Basim. Do not lose them again.
Weesh always warned me I would be dragged to the Shorta. Who would have imagined I would walk in willingly? Has the governor returned? I am not sure. I did not see him go upstairs. Muhammad ibn Tahir's office at last. The Tahirids agreed to withdraw their protection from Alamut at the governor's request. The hidden ones are betrayed. The governor has been tracking the rebels and the hidden ones.
ocean, desert, cobra, dove. It seems he is an admirer of Arib the poet. You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters? The Mast Cabal, the Order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah. And I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey? A member of the Order? The brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one, I heard. Hmm. Are you the one to thank? I read your letters. You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. I offered the Order Alamut, they gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you loose a wolf. The Order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? Twenty? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Guards! Mm. So the day ends with me fleeing the short bar after all. What was that? It came from the haystack. Hey, Stay alert. What's going on? That will hide them. Order or no, Governor Muhammad is no friend to the Hidden Ones. Let us hope she is home. You will not pardon from my guest. This is my house. Bought with my generosity! Bought by my genius! For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... Words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears. Don't we? Mask, Sayyidi. Enough, Sayyidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. 
The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. Stranger's mail and sniff out conspiracies. must be mail here from every corner of the Khilafah. Now to find Arians. <laughs> After the honey drips from her lips, Athaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be Athaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. I will go to the garden, give Athala her letter, and follow where she goes. God, as the death of me, I will bathe in your feet. Strike, be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Don't be shy. I rarely bite, and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arib. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone. 
How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Here, dog! The pleasure was out! Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalan to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. You should bring him before the Madalin court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sara. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by strict hero statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And a poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meeting. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Harib herself, but an admirer. I have seen enough from my three suspects. Time to seek Roshan's counsel and end this once and for all. That person looks suspicious. I should investigate. This shard brings me one step closer to uncovering the mysteries of the chamber. Basim, have you investigated your three suspects? You appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the Order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Tappan. Just as we had feared. We've been bared to our enemies. Yes. In exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the Order, led by... His mother. Gabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice, and I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right. Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, that is not... A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Gabiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate.
Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemy, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. So many dead or disappeared. And each trail of blood leads back to you, Al Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. And all for what? Some worthless token of a long forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace. And I will cut the head from the snake. Go, Enkidu. Seems Ali decided to attack the palace after all. His rebels could distract these guards. You, hidden one! You think you can help us pass these gates? They are barred from the inside. You appear primed for a fight, brothers. I will see what I can do. Must be quick and quiet. Abiha will be on her guard. Like your Albert Right. 
Be free, my friends. And eat well. Hey, Chester. Show me the path ahead. and save Alamut. need to flee. Well, well, if it is not a familiar face. to stop meeting like this. I could not agree more. Where is Kabiha? If I knew, I would not tell you. Do not play the fool, Makira. Why not? It worked the last time. Do you know what Kabiha is? What she really is? More than anyone. I am more child to her than her own son. That fool who let his father die before his eyes. You have no idea who you are dealing with. But I do. And I say to you kindly, leave this place.
Makira will warn her mistress. Let us see where she leads. I'll convince you again. <laughs> my toes, my boot alike in thirty pieces. She saw me. I should not follow too closely. علينا ذلك الغلام القوري لست خبيرا في هذا العلم لكن يبدو ان اي شخص يرتدي جوارب زرقاء مريعه كتل لا بد انه مجنون من الاساس اوه يو ايفل مان شيم كارد جيت ذا شورتا كريمينال دوغ يو ديت اور دو كارد كارد Did I ever tell you about the time the Amir went mad at the Sahib Al-Sharta? But I thought for sure one of them would die. Arguing about a dead horse of all things. The library. Kabiha must be within. Can you not leave me alone? You? Gladly. But your mistress. Do what you will. You will not find her. I have nothing more to say to you. There must be a room beyond this one. But how to reach it? What was it Arib recited? Rage as the many volumes by Arib. Kobiha is an admirer. Blue, black, white, and yellow tomes. Which book would Qabiha choose to mark her path? She had Arib's book in her office. Hidden one. (sighs) 
So many years spent searching. Combing ancient tomes and tombs. Tracing forgotten histories. Snatching at rumor and at myth. When all I needed to do was wait. For you. To come to me. <laughs> Our prodigal scion has arrived. Yet he knows not what he is. <laughs> Have you not wondered at your nature? You, who see more, who know more. <laughs> Even my son knew to ask what you were. When he saw your hand touch and wake the ancient's gift. What am I? Something more than man. Enough riddles. Speak plainly! Why speak what can be shown? Come with me to Alamut. Beneath its temple walls lies all the knowledge that you are heir to. Your so-called brothers would sooner die than see you claim it. But take heart, Basim. We will prepare the way. And set you free. Ah, no! What poison have you lapped at her lips? She said I was something more than man. What did she mean, Roshan? What lies beneath the temple? That is forbidden ground. There's nothing there for you. I told you of the nightmares. The Jinni. You called it weakness. Told me to mend it. I tried and tried, but you hid the way. You let me struggle alone! Not alone! You are not the first to walk the shadows broken, Basim. Stitch your shattered pieces into a hole. Pour your pain into the Brotherhood. Hurt yourself of the poison she dripped and come home to us. No more than a man, but no less than our brother. Or is it too little for you. What if it is? Follow the path she laid out for you, and I will kill you myself. Tell Nihal what I have learned. Guards! Guards! To me! Hey, you will not escape justice! Did you catch that shit, Ethan? I will kill you! Oh! Hold on. That's right. Yeah! Yeah! 
Alhamdulillah, again I have escaped with my life and left things broken behind me. Hmm.